So as with any problems in our life, in order to solve a problem, you must understand the problem first. If you don't understand the problem, you have no chance. If you manage to do it, it's just luck. And we don't want to depend on luck for our national exams. So let's try to understand question number one, the difference between two numbers, x and y. Okay? First part of the sentence, the difference between two numbers, x and y. The two numbers are x and y. Obviously, I don't know what their values are. But they do tell us that the difference. That means I take the big number minus the small number, I get 1. Right? So we say, which is the bigger number right now? Is it x or y? Do you know? Do you know which one is bigger? Don't know, right? So should I take x minus y equal to 1? Or should it be y minus x equals to 1? Do you have this problem? Yes, right? Both. I mean, I, I can't really tell which is supposed to be correct. But I do know that must be the big number minus small number, then I can get 1. If I take small number minus big number, I will get negative 1. Okay, so right now, since they didn't say, I get to decide myself. Let x be bigger than y. Okay, please write this down first. Yes? Oh, did they say? Oh, they did say. Okay, thank you. I didn't read the whole question. Okay, y is larger. So that means I shouldn't write that. Uh, thank you. Uh. Y is larger than x. So I know y minus x equals to 1. What do we have now? An equation. I have one equation with two unknowns. I am unable to solve this. Because there is only one equation with two unknowns. I need two equations with two unknowns, then I can solve it. But the next thing they tell us is that the sum of x and y. If I were to add x and y together, I will get 17. So from the next sentence, x plus y equals to 17. Now this is our equation number 2. After we have established these two equations, you can choose whichever you prefer. Elimination or substitution. Okay, So I'll leave you to this question for two minutes. Let's try solving this by ourselves. Two minutes. So I will start with elimination first. Since I have equation one and two, I can choose to eliminate either x or y over here because their coefficients are all one or negative one. For example, if I take equation number one minus equation number two, one minus two, I will end up with y minus x minus away x and then I minus away y. So the y will cancel with the y over here, leaving me with negative 2x. So I have eliminated y if I use equation 1 minus equation number 2. If I choose to take equation number 1 plus equation number 2, I will have y minus x plus x plus y. I will end up with 2y and the x will disappear. So these are the two options you can have for elimination. Okay, so since I already wrote down 1 minus 2, I will continue with that. So y minus x, this is from equation number 1, minus equation number 2. Equation number 2, I've got x plus y. So right now your equal sign, still working on equation number 1 over here, minus equation number 2. Minus 17. Expand it out. Y minus x. Since there is a negative in front of the bracket, when I remove the bracket, all the signs will flip. All of them will change. Positive x becomes negative x. Positive y becomes negative y. 1 minus 17 is negative 16. So now we end up with y minus y is no y. No more y already. But negative x minus x, negative 2x is negative 16, x must be 8. Okay, since I've got x is equal to 8 now, I'm going to sub into, is your choice whether it is equation number 1 or equation number 2, I will sub into equation number 1. So y minus 8, y minus 8 is equal to 1, meaning y must be equal to 
1 plus 8, which is 9. The only way you can get something minus 8 equal to 1 is when that something is equal to 9. Okay, so this is elimination method. Okay, again, uh, you could choose to eliminate by taking equation 1 plus equation number 2. Your answer will still be the same. So now I'm going to show you for substitution. For substitution method, you must have either x equals to something or y equals to something. Then you sub into another equation. Okay, so let us start with equation number one, for example. From equation number one, x, sorry, y minus x is one. What would you like to make the subject, x or y? Yeah, I think it's easier to make y the subject because I only need to plus x to both sides. From equation number one, y is equal to one plus x. Right, from equation number one, plus x to both sides. Then I make y the subject already. This is the key to solving simultaneous equation by substitution. You must make either x or y the subject. So since this is from equation number one, I have to now substitute into equation number two. Whatever you did from equation number one, you have to sub into equation number two. If you started from equation number two, you have to substitute into equation number one. That is how you are making use of both equations at the same time. Simultaneous means at the same time. Okay? So let's substitute. Now, equation number two starts off with x. Copy down x. Then it is a plus. Copy down a plus. Now it says plus y. And we already have y equals to 1 plus x. x plus 1 plus x. I drew brackets because I am kiasu. Okay, but in case this is a minus, if this is a minus, you definitely need a bracket. But today this is a plus, so actually there is no sign change. We could have left the brackets out. Okay, a plus outside the bracket doesn't change the sign. A minus in front of the bracket will change the sign. So now this is equal to 17. So x plus x is 2x. 2x plus 1 is 17. 2x plus 1 is 17. So 2x must be equal to... If 2x plus 1 is 17, what's the 2x? Must be 16, right? Because 16 plus 1 is 17. Okay, this must be 16. And we look at it as minus 1 on both sides. So this results in x equal to 8. Same. Now that I have x equals to 8, I am going to sub back into y over here. Okay, so one tip for you. When you are doing substitution, after you get one of the answers, x equals to 8, unlike our elimination, when we say sub back into equation number 1, we are not going to substitute into equation number 1 or equation number 2. You know why? I don't want to sub back into equation 1 or 2. Because I have already made y the subject. I might as well substitute it over there. Then I get an answer straight away for y. As compared to if I substitute into equation number 1, I will get y minus 8 equal to 1. Then I still need to find y. If I sub into equation number 2, I have 8 plus y is 17. Then I still need to find y. Okay, so for substitution method, you will always end up with this case. Find one answer, you substitute this answer back into your first step over here. So we get y equals to 1 plus 8, which is 9. Same answer. Alright? So this portion at the bottom, whether it is elimination or substitution, is just the technical part of how to solve simultaneous equation. Only two methods, you must know both of them so that you can be flexible. Sometimes one will be easier than the other. Now let us move on. Question two. I am thinking of two integers. Recap, integers. Examples, examples of integers will be negative 100, negative five, zero, one, three, 8, so on and so forth. Positive and negative whole numbers, 
zero included. So cannot be fraction. Um, right now, two equations solve to find the two integers. This tells us that if your answer after solving is a decimal or a fraction, the answer is wrong already. Okay, so we must end up with whole numbers, either positive or negative, or it could be zero. Okay, let's continue. Y is larger than X, okay? If they tell me Y is larger than X, maybe they are going to be doing a minus later on. I don't know. The sum of two numbers is 25. Ah, this one I can do. The sum of two numbers is 25. Can you form an equation? And what is the equation? Can you write down an equation first? Before I write down my equation. So all of you should be looking now at your work and writing. The sum of x and y is 25. Is this what you have? This is what you have then? Good job. You got half of the answer for part A already. You have just written down one equation in x and y. One of the number is four times the other number. One of it is four times of the other number. That means one of the number you times four, you get the other number right. Which one is going to be bigger? Huh? Y is going to be bigger. So what will your equation look like? Is it plus four? Four times. Four times means four times something, isn't it? Okay, so uh, Shamim, four times y, and you're telling me that this is equal to? Equals to what? What else can it be? Four y equals to? 20. No, no, no. We have to use this statement. One number times four gives me the other number. This is one number times four gives me the other number. What is the other number? X. Okay, then we look at this again. Does this make sense? X equals to four times y. Why does it make sense? Why does it make sense? Because y is supposed to be the bigger number, isn't it? But looking at this equation that you have just written, 4y equals to x. This over here shows me that x is bigger than y. Because I need 4 of y to give me 1 of x. That means x is bigger. Then it should be the other way around, right? Huh? No, no, we, we still have to use this statement over here. So we will end up with y equals to 4x. Now, do you all agree? Y is 4 times of X. Shamim, okay? Does this tally with this statement? One number is 4 times of the other number? Okay, one of the number, which is Y, is 4 times of the other number y equals to 4 times x and I chose y to be 4 times x because they tell me y is bigger okay, so this is my second equation already equation number 1 and equation number 2 part A done okay, so now part B solve whatever you have done in part A you want to use elimination or substitution? Who wants to use elimination over here? Who wants to use substitution? Both will still work. You can choose to use elimination, equation number 1 minus equation number 2, then the y will disappear. You can choose to use equation number 2 minus equation number 1, the y will again disappear. Or you can choose to do substitution. Substitute 2 into equation number 1. When questions look like this, when you have one equation, one of the equation is x or y in terms of the other, 
generally it is easier to use substitution because they already make x or y the subject for you might as well use substitution so that's what i'm going to do sub 2 into 1 in equation 2 y is already the subject so whenever now i'm going to go back to equation number one huh? whenever i see a y i will change it to 4x because that's what equation 2 says when i see a y i change it to 4x in equation number one it says x copy down x it says plus copy down plus now it says y whenever i see the y i change it to 4x that is what substitution means and this gives me 25 so a total of 5x is 25 5x 25 x must be equal to 5 good i'll continue over here if x is equal to 5 what should i substitute this into into equation number one you sure it will work definitely will work and you will get a correct answer but there's something easier yeah equation two is a bit easier because it already has y equals to something you think you think along with me huh? if i substitute into equation number one i will have five plus something equals to 25. so you need one more step right which is y equals to 20. whereas if we write substitute into equation number two we have y equals to four times five which is 20 straight away okay so it's a bit easier so we have um, y equals to four times of five which is 20. If I'm moving too slowly for you, now is the time for you to go and use elimination and go and practice. Okay, otherwise we'll move on to the next question. Three. Jane is X, CD is Y years old. CD is three years older than Jane, the sum is 29. Okay. I give you two minutes, try writing down two equations. Please start now. Jane is X years old. CT is Y years old. CT is three years older than Jane. CT is Y years old. CT is three years older than Jane. Do you see it? Okay, do you all agree with this statement? CT is X plus 3 years old. Can right? It's just that I'm telling you I'm 3 years older than Miss Irani. But you don't know what's Miss Irani's age. I tell you that she's X. So I am X plus 3. Can so far, right? Then the next line, it says that CT is Y years old. CT is Y years old. What does this tell me about Y and X plus 3? Are they going to be the same? Must they be the same? CT is X plus 3, CT is also Y. Well, CT has one age only, ma. the age cannot change. So this tells me that Y equals to X plus 3. Okay, this is our first equation. Please write this down. Yeah, you are more um, confident. The sum is 29. So x plus y equals to 29. Equation number 2. Part A done. So part B, solve. Do you want to use elimination or substitution? Both will work. Okay, I keep repeating it up because it is the truth. Both of them will work in your syllabus. But because I see we already have y equals to something. y equals to x plus 3. I would like to do a substitution. Sub 1 into 2. Sub equation 1 into equation number 2. Now equation number 1 says every time I see a y, I'm going to change it to become x plus 3. It means over here. 
every time I see the y, I change to x plus 3. So I get x, just copy down the x, plus, and every time I see the y, I change it to x plus 3. x plus 3. I do not need this bracket because it is a plus. So we can remove it. So I substitute and I get this is equal to 29. 2x equals to 29 minus 3, which is 26. Now, something plus 3 equals to 29. The something must be 26, right? Huh? How do we get a 26? Well, we take 29 minus 3. 2 times of something is 26. 2 times of something is 26. What is the something? 13. We take 26 divided by 2. Because we did substitution, we are now going to sub into 1. Yeah, straight away we will get the answer. Y equals to 13 plus 3, which is 26. Oh, yeah, 16. Sorry, thank you, thank you. Okay, do a quick comparison. City is three years older than J. So City is Y. 16 minus 13 is 3. Yeah, correct. 13 plus 3 is 16, correct. And the sum is 29. 16 plus 13 is 29, correct. So this is how we shall answer. Okay, so now Okay, uh, let's resume Parsley is X, Rosia is Y Rosia is three times as old as Parsley Rosia H, class, look at the screen. Whether you have done it or not, look up. Stop talking. Rosia's H, according to this, 3 times as old as parsley. 3 times of X. They also tell us that Rosia is Y. Okay, so this is our first equation. Y equals to 3x. This is our first equation. So we did not need to write all this. This is from the, from the question. The next equation. The sum is 64. X plus Y, 64. Okay, part B now. Solve. Would you like to use simultaneous or elimination? Oh, sorry, what am I saying? Would you like to use elimination or substitution? Substitution, substitution because equation 1 is already y in terms of x. So sub 1 into 2. Every time I see the y, I'm going to change it to 3x. And I see the y over here. Okay, so I copy down the x first. I'm substituting 1 into 2. X doesn't change. Right now, X, right now, the plus. Now I see a Y over here. Change it to become 3X. Equals to 64. So 4X equals to 64. X equals to 16. Okay. Um, is this what they want? Rosia, isn't Rosia 16 years old? Ro no, la, they didn't say it's the mother. They just say it is three times. Which is why, ah? Sa into one. Continue over here. 
y equals to 3 times of 16, which is 48. And this is the age. This is the age of Rosia, 48. Okay, the next three questions are your homework questions. Five, six, seven. Homework. 